Uh, my name is Tim Schaefer. I'm a wildlife biologist and really related to this project. I um, was hired on to do long-term monitoring for Preble's Meadow Jumping Mouse. Uh, Preble's Meadow Jumping Mouse is a threatened species. Uh, it's federally protected under the Endangered Species Act and it's a riparian obligate in these front range streams which means it absolutely depends on the stream side habitat, all the trees and the shrubs and everything we have on our streams in the front range and its whole geographic distribution is uh, really just isolated to this thin band of habitat on the front range from uh, south of Colorado Springs just north into Wyoming. So the species was listed in, on the Endangered Species Act in 1998 and there had been a lot of study uh, around this species, trying to learn as much as we could about a relatively unknown species. Um, but then we had this big flood happen in uh, 2013 and nobody knew what happened to the mouse. There was a lot of speculation that they'd all washed downstream into Nebraska or they all drowned or who knows what. And we knew we needed to find out. We have a lot of flood recovery projects planned and uh, we needed to uh, really be able to plan for prebles in that in terms of regulatory compliance as well as providing, a, you know, as an indicator species of riparian health, we wanted to use them as potentially uh, providing a target for restoration for our stream restoration projects. So we saw the importance for the need to really get out here and study the species and monitor uh, the post-flood response of an important species. And we established uh, a presence absence or an occupancy study uh, the year one after the flood to get out there and try and uh, get a baseline for the distribution of prebles in the county and find out what happened to them. So we went to, uh, in the first year, we went to 14 different properties across all the different watersheds in the county, as every watershed in the county was affected by the flood. Um, and then we did the same the next year, another 14 properties, sort of casting a wide net across all of our properties to figure out where did they end up and how is that different from uh, where they were previously. And in those two summers, in 2014, we captured a total of 24 individual Preble's Meadow Jumping Mice. Uh, 2015, another 14 sites, 71 Preble's uh, captured. So to trap these guys, these guys are nocturnal. And so they're active at night and we can't really see them unless we come out here at night. So we use uh, Sherman Live Traps. They're small aluminum boxes. So we set these traps just before, uh, before dark. And then we gotta come back first thing in the morning. We're out here just before sunup, really and we're checking all those traps in the morning and handling all the animals and we're recording uh, observations about age, uh, sex, and species identification and any other sort of measurements we want to take. So we initiated a, a mark recapture study in 2016 where we go out and we mark individual mice and we go out and we try and recapture them as many times as we can as well as capture new individuals. And we do that with uh, what's called a pit tag, a passive integrative transponder. It's basically the same thing you put in your, in your, your dog or your cat at home, and, we, and it has a unique number, and so we know which individual that is. And with that uh, method, we can use some fancy statistics and get some really good population estimates to figure out how many there are. We got some pretty surprising numbers uh, this summer, and the Fish and Wildlife Service and all the prevalence experts around were pretty astounded with what we were finding. Um, we found, uh, let's see, in 2016, we had a captured 154 unique individual mice. And that's a pretty high number for what people have caught in the past. Um, but you know, as we continue sampling, uh, after three years, we can start to get at survival estimates and really understand uh, how these species are surviving and look at the changes in their population. So I'm Susan Spaulding. I'm the senior wildlife biologist at Parks and Open Space. For, um, on behalf of our group, I just want to express our gratitude for the support we've had to accomplish this large-scale, long-term project on behalf of this very vulnerable species. And the information that we're gleaning is really providing significant information, understanding the species, figuring out where they are, how they survived. And again, they're a federally threatened species, so very, very important for us to understand what's going on with their populations.